What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 23 in the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that the value in dollars Y of a car X years after it was purchased can be modeled by the function Y equals 14,000 minus 875 X. And we're supposed to find the meaning of the Y intercept of this linear model. Now to do a question like this, you'll need to know how to read a word problem and translate it into function language. North Carolina loves their word problems, and um, often they'll throw in just a few different operations into it, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Sometimes they'll make an equation out of it, but this time we have to actually translate from these words to the language of a function. And I'm going to highlight one big thing, y-intercept. Now there's a couple different ways to think about a y-intercept, but in the context of a word problem, The y-intercept is what it means when x equals 0. And if I look back in the problem for the meaning of x, x is the years after it was purchased, which means my y-intercept means 0 years after the car was purchased. Now with this information, I'm going to go ahead and look at my answer choices. Let's see. Choice A, the initial value of the car is $14,000. Initial. Well, initial's like at the beginning, and beginning pretty much means zero years, so I'm going to put a dot by that until I can knock out some other answer choices. Choice B, the average value of the car is $14,000. This is the kind of choice they put in there. It's just one word of difference, but if you tend to overthink questions like I did when I was um, in school, uh, you could, I mean, you could trip yourself up. But the, when it says average, average is like over a long period of time. Long period of time tells me that zero years can't go with that. And we know that we're looking for something that means zero years. So choice B is out. Choice C and D have the same wording but different numbers. The car's value decreases by some amount each year after it was purchased. Well, let's go back to this meaning that the y-intercept is zero years. Any year after it was purchased automatically can't count as zero years. So we're left with choice A. The initial, the value of the car when you first buy it, when it's been uh, driven for zero years, is $14,000. And that also matches this number here. And if we look at the function notation, uh, that number that's hanging out by itself is what this whole function is going to equal if I plug zero in for x. There's a couple different ways to think about functions. This one, we looked at the y-intercept in, in the context of the wording of the problem.